underway here at Williams Arena. Gophers with the first possession. Hope you enjoy it tonight. Great to have you with us for college basketball here on Jimmy V. Week. One of the things that the staff was concerned about is just that turnovers. They wanted to get Minnesota, they wanted to get down to 10 and under on the turnovers before they can get to conference. And Minnesota trying to return the favor and get one of those steals, but there is a good way to start for the Catamounts. Rhett Harrelson, we talked about him in the open. He trains a three. Huge because the Western Carolina has been getting behind on the road. This is their third road game in five days, so they've been getting behind. So it's very important they came out and made some baskets. So that was a good start. Down low it goes, and now back out to Matthew up front. Matthews layup will not go, and then <laughs> Maurice Walker sticks it in between the rim and the glass. Good drive. Good drive by Matthew there, and I thought he had that ball right in there, and he just put it right in that corner, and it just lodged. And we see Harrelson again pumped in 30 on Wednesday night against East Tennessee State. Harrelson leads the NCAA in three-point attempts per game. They like to shoot many, and they need to make some. Good full court pressure. This is the aggressiveness that the Minnesota staff likes to see. Ripped away at half court. Great Hustle will have to withstand defensive pressure like they have not seen, right, Homer? Very much so, and great hustle. Both teams on the floor. Good hustle by Western to keep the ball alive. Brown beats it down low. Battle underneath will be key tonight. Nice job inside by Torian Rummett, the 6'7", the junior out of Columbus, Georgia. He's strong, and he muscled that right in. That was a very strong move in against some very good defense by Minnesota. 5-0 Catamounts. Not yet two minutes into the basketball game tonight. King over to Hollins. One of the things they were watching for is King because he's such an excellent three-point shooter on that pick and pop, and they denied at that time. Jumper from out front front is perfect. Carlos Morris. Carlos Morris. Well, how many? Eight assists? I'm sorry, eight steals last game? Eight steals against the Demon Deacons, one shy of the school record. Minnesota first in the Big Ten, third in the nation in steals, averaging 11 takeaways a game. This is Sinclair, Southern Conference Player of the Month for November, number 25. Pumped in 23 in their loss against East Tennessee State. Driving inside, tip up is good. Nice job by Sinclair on the miss by Brummett. That's his first two. And nice footwork. He got in there between two Minnesota players and just elevated. Nice tip and excellent start. They talked about getting off to a good start, and they have done that. Collins will pull up and nail it. That's a two. Excellent shooter. He can shoot threes. He can do a pull up. And they really like for him to drive and be aggressive because he creates openings. Ball knocked away. Catamounts keep it. Out front it goes. This is Brown. 4-3, and he nails it from the left. Mike Brown shooting almost 40% from three-point range. He makes it 10-4. Look at some early offense here, Homer. And Boy, key, isn't it, for an underdog to come in here and get off to a good start. Excellent start. He got the ball here. Nice shot by Minnesota to get them started. And watch this good, strong move. Right going to the board. Sinclair just got in between the two. Elevated nicely. Nice pull up from Hollins. Just a, a wonderful, he's a pure shooter. He gets the... The hand behind the ball, he gets the arch and a good follow through. Take a look here at Mike Brown's three that precipitated the timeout by the Golden Gophers. We talked about getting off to a good start. Homer, it's not only important from a physical standpoint, but just to convince yourself that, hey, we can compete here. Very true, and that gives them good confidence. And, and, and they've outplayed Minnesota. They've played harder, they've played quicker, and have shown that hunger that they want to keep this game close. Foul goes against Ken Hall. His first team foul number one. It'll send Maurice Walker to the foul line. Walker, the 6'10", redshirt senior out of Scarborough, Ontario. 
61 and a half percent foul shooter and he's been working on his free throws. Got good foot balance about shoulders width is what you like to do. Put it in the shooting pocket I'd like to get a little follow through to get a little rotation on the ball. Walker had 10.7 rebounds practice pays off. He makes good on both and it's 10 six. Here's a full court press. They double team the first pass in good ball movement. Brown double teamed and Minnesota a little over aggressive. Now it's going to go against the Golden Gophers. We take a look at Richard Patino in his second year here at Minnesota. Done a wonderful job. First year young and was very good team. Brought in here and had a good recruiting class that's coming in next year. Minnesota, the champions of the postseason NIT a year ago with a school record 25 wins. Patient possession here for the Catamounts. Trying to control the tempo of the game, really working the ball around well. Need to find a clear shot. Oh, nice hustle. Sinclair nice, tried to nice hustle. Dump it into the corner. Like this replay, because you're going to see King in his effort down here. 6-8, six, six, get his hands down low, gets on the floor, and it goes off Western Carolina. Nice hustle. Minnesota gets it back down by four. Four minutes into the first half, 16 to play. And Walker gets it down low. Nice soft shot uh, to the left. Pretty, and it all started with a screen. He set a screen, shields his man, and posted up strong and did a nice job with his left hand. Post people have to be able to shoot left and right. Nice move. 4-0 run by the Gophers. Get the ball over to Rhett Harrelson. Harrelson, 5'10", 170. But he, can he shoot? And he throws it away. Outstanding move by him. Let's see, boy, he just popped right in there in that passing lane. Andre Matthew with the steal, draws the foul. He'll be at the line when we come back. Gophers down by two here at Williams Arena. Matthew's first point. He's averaging 7.7 .7 a game for the Gophers. He nails both. And we are tied up. 6-0 run for the Gophers. Morris over the ball, putting ball pressure there. Getting tough to get it in. Full court pressure forces the turnover. Nice no look by Matthew and down low Carlos Morris with the finish. You see why Matthew leads him in assist. Ahead to Brown to the bucket. Will not go. And a whistle and a foul coming up on the back against the Catamounts. Well you look at the way Western is attacking the full court pressure Homer. Obviously, you, you get a lot better results with the pass. That's what they're doing right now. They're moving the ball much better and passing over the pressure to get it down. Now, once they get it down, they've got to complete it or they need the ball back out and get some touches to keep the tempo in their favor, not get it up and down, which is what Minnesota would like to do. King finds Hollins. There's Matthew. The little guy takes it in right along the baseline. Don't you love that? A little hesitation move. He started, stopped a little bit, and then accelerated again. Nice move, Matthew. Well, now it's up to a 10-0 run. Catamounts with four turnovers the last five times they've had the basketball. 14-34 to go. And a foul out front. Well, if you're... Richard Patino, you're going to take a few of those. You like the aggressiveness of the defense. Yes, and Coach Patino did a good job with that early timeout. And since they came out on the floor, they have been dominating with their defense. Minnesota won at Wake Forest on Tuesday. They led by one at the half and then shot 57% in the second half to pull away and win by 15. And why they got back in and got the lead was on defense. And now Western Carolina has got to really slow down and get a really good shot this time. Move the basketball. Get an open look. Nice screen. Good cuts. Good ball movement. Tucker Thompson, Justin Browning checking in for the Catamounts. Sinclair draws the double team. A fade away by Sinclair will not go. And it is out of bounds to the Catamounts. Tucker Thompson, 6'10", 240, just a freshman. 
from out of Huntersville, North Carolina. He's battling well, battling well inside. Sinclair, nice, nice elevation. Nice out of bounds play. They started Sinclair in. He broke up to the middle of the lane, gave him a little high pass, caught it, and shot. 14 12. Gophers leading it. Mason is in for Minnesota. Carlos Morris out front. King, nice pump fake, and then a nice look to Walker. Nice basketball. Love it when you got someone close, you show the ball. You show them that, and that gets them off their feet, and that's what we call you fake and go, or fake and pass, or fake and shoot. 37 straight wins here at Williams Arena against non-conference opponents for the Gophers. Sinclair blocked by Walker. Second effort won't go. Now Browning with the finish on the reverse layup. Well, you never give up, and sometimes it pays off. Terrific, terrific effort on the on the boards for Western. Didn't give up, kept it alive, and finally put it back in. Seven minutes gone by, first half. Hey. will not drop down. Carlos Morris draws the foul. Let's take a look at the last two buckets by these teams. Taking a look at that nice pass underneath. You saw the fake. He faked the ball above his head, and that got the Western Carolina guys up jumping and then down at the other end. Nice effort. Look at the effort. They keep the ball alive, finally get it in. Nice up and under. Here's Carlos Morris at the foul line. Knocks down the first and has five points tonight. 17-14. Carlos Morris, the junior out of beautiful Apalachicola, Florida. He brought his winter coat up here. Started his career in junior college at Chipola. Junior college down in Florida. They say that he goes by the nickname Squirrel, Coach. Mm -hmm. what's up, what's up, He's not squirrely on the court, boy. He can play defense. He can shoot the three. Uh, rebounds for him. Very good starter for Minnesota. I think my strategy, I'm going to let you call him Squirrel first. <laughs> if he likes it, I'll, I'll do it. He's got long arms. He might be able to reach us. That pass inside, but kept alive by Sinclair. Now Brown for three. Sinclair, excellent timing, excellent timing. Ball went up, and one of the Minnesota players went up and mistimed it. Sinclair jumps right up, grabs it, puts it back. And their offensive rebound for Western Carolina, their seventh already. Carolina still have been man to man this whole way. King. They have done a remarkable job on King. They have switched everything and taken away his three, and King's an excellent three-point shooter. Tend to shoot for the Gophers. Eliason. This fires gets his own miss. And good work underneath. Elliot Eliason, the 6'11 redshirt senior, will have foul shots after an official timeout. Catamounts down by one. 